It's been quite the journey for the implementation of medicinal marijuana on Guam. And for Emily Conception, she's been along for the ride from the very beginning. I'm just really here to show more support and to thank everyone for being involved in whatever way they were involved. Emily is the wife of the late Joaquin Casey Conception, the man who was the inspiration for the Compassionate Cannabis Use Act of 2013, the medicinal marijuana measure passed by voters last year. She, along with dozens of others, were on hand today at the final public hearing on the draft rules and regulations. And according to Tom Nadeau, the administrator of the Division of Environmental Health, the public hearings have garnered a variety of comments. This is the opportunity for the department to hear what the public has to say about, about the proposed rules and regulations. And we received numerous, and we're grateful for that. And we'll definitely need to re-examine our proposed regulations and see if there's any improvement that needs to be made. He says the biggest concerns primarily focus on the $35,000 proposed costs for dispensary registration and cultivation site registration certificates. There's definitely some concerns about the fees that's, in, that's written into the proposed regulations and also the, uh, the, the clarification that's necessary in the regulation that probably must be uh, added on to, if you will. Um, and all that will be definitely be looked into and taken into consideration. He does, however, note that the rules are up for revision once the process is complete. We recognize this will be a rather controversial um, proposal, uh, but this is part of the process. This is where we get public input to improve what we have drafted. And it is a proposed draft, and it's only a draft. And as we said over and over, it's not set in stone. It's open for revision, and it will be very likely. In the meantime, Conception hopes the public's concerns are addressed in order to ensure the measure named after her husband benefits all who need the medical relief. I'm really hoping they do because that's the purpose of the public hearings, you know, to hear the people out. And, you know, as the director said, they may make some adjustments and, you know, hopefully they do. Hopefully they do to fit the needs of those who, you know, will benefit and use this medicine for themselves. The comment period will remain open 10 days after today. You can email your comments at dphss-deh at dphss.guam.gov. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.